I don't need, I mean this uh, this team never ever make it easy on anyone do they no uh, and I just said then off off camera to Liam that it's we can have a laugh and a joke and we won 3-2 but if it's 3-2 the other way we're all got completely different emotions and like I've also said that is the, the joy of football sometimes we're, we're certainly today fans are leaving entertained <laughs> uh, albeit for, not for the first bit of the game uh, let's have it right but as it went on entertained and it's so great for those players who you know uh, it's a bit of anxiety around and uh, it's a bit awkward for the, for the lads after the 2-0 down and they could have crumbled and, and gone and they didn't Coco's goal obviously made it 2-1 gave everyone a lift gave the stadium a lift and at Tour you, you did feel as the old saying there's only one team going to win it now we all know uh, that isn't always the case and at 2-0 down you're thinking I'll snap your hand off for a draw so we certainly didn't come into today looking for a point when you're 2-0 down you go let's just get two all this will be a great point you know after a real shaky start really poor start but to win it in the last kick of the game virtually uh, in front of the cop was was great for those players because believe you me they, they do keep going to the end but forget about mistakes and things they do wrong they, they keep going they keep trying and they showed a lot of courage today and it was just great to see the whole place in in raptures at the end because uh, what a massive three points that was especially after the flatness and disappointment of Ultra. I mean, how important was it that the, the side didn't crumble, like you said, and showed a bit of steel, determination? How important it was then to get the goal eight minutes after conceding the second goal from Hartlepool? Yeah, it was very important. And I think you've seen you know, 2 0 with the players we've got and the vibe we get in and, and, and the noise it makes when we get a goal back, even when we're losing, is doable. If, you, if you're 3 or 4 0 down, that's tough, whoever you're playing, you know, game over. So it was important. We've all seen games before where you're 3 0 down for it. How's that happened? Uh, and after that second goal winning, you felt that everyone, all the players, they got themselves together and thought, right, no more, let's, let's buck our ideas up. And they certainly did that. Uh, and the second half, start of the second half, couldn't be more different, could it, the start of the first half? Uh, all was two all, you could just sense the whole place think, okay, we can win this. But we had to be careful. We had a set piece near the end and we loaded the box knowing that we could play short. Uh, and you know, luckily for us, it worked. But. You know, suddenly you've seen sometimes from our set piece, Goldie catch it, they kick it long and they win the game. So you have to be careful it doesn't turn into basketball. At the same time, uh, once you get that third goal, you're looking at our boys to just defend a couple more long balls. And they did that really well. And obviously what a different different vibe and atmosphere and, and an evening our supporters going to have after the disappointment of the, of, uh, of the last game. But, you know, that's why you've always got to look forward because you have a disappointment of a game at Auctionham. And then, you know, got the real enjoyment and buzz of today. You look at the scores today, and there's a lot of a lot of people, a lot of people in places in worse worse situations than us. I think we're third, are we? Solly old Barnett going ever so well. Uh, so it was never game off, but it's certainly game on. After uh, I say a poor result that no one wanted on Saturday, we, we'd like to think now we're back on track. Yeah, hitting back's most most important though. But you still, there must be some sort of frustration thinking we we can't keep defending like this. Yeah, I think you know, I think it's. We look at our goals against it's it's not what we want to be you know we don't have to score three every game to to win it mm -hmm. uh, and you know there's a time and a place to do that uh, but you know even at fold you four nil up ends up four two and, and what have you but yeah i think i'd like to think today that you know would nice be a nice turning point only because the at two nil that there was a real courage that come out in the players i felt and a strength that said no we're, we're not gonna we're not going to disappoint everyone here we're, we're going to give we're going to go home with some, we're going to get those supporters home with something to sing about today uh, and the subs included, really the ones involved, they won't come on the pitch, they show real courage to go, we're not just going to get this point, we're going to go and win the game and get three points and get this club back on track. Uh, so to a man today, I thought the players, at the end of it, we, we did themselves credit. The second half performance though was exactly what you must have been delighted with, you know, uh, it's sort of almost passing it at will, weren't you, at times, and switching from left to right, it must have been really encouraging. Yeah, and the manager makes the point of, that's what we're all saying about defending, but at the same time, we sometimes give the ball away or have done for certain goals this season in, in real criminal situations, and it, it leaves the back lads exposed to through balls. Now, that's not to say people at the back or anyone in a defensive situation hasn't made mistakes, of course they have. Uh, but sometimes, if we just keep the ball a bit better, if we penetrate with passes, or you know, when we should, and, and shoot when we should, and cross when we should, if we, if we make good decisions in that, that half, it doesn't leave your, your centre halves and that exposed. Because we do like to play with both fullbacks going on. So, uh, as I said to you the other day, it's not saying it's the rough with the smooth. We don't want to be seeing two goals a game, and there's certainly work to be done. Uh, and you know, sooner or later, we need to start getting some clean sheets, and hopefully sooner. Will Greg miss a, I wouldn't say guilt edged opportunity, but 
perhaps he, he, he Pomp he would have put that header away in the in the injury time. Do you think that at the moment it's a bit frustrating for him the fact that um, he hasn't quite worked out where the, the runners are coming from in, in terms of him being on his own as a striker? I don't know. I think you know, Will by his own admission would probably say that you know nine times out of ten he scores that, uh, and that's all part of a team. If someone if someone makes a missed time tackle at the back, is is a mate there to go and cover it? If someone misses a chance, they think they should score. Are we going to put the next one away? You know, that's a part of team and teamwork of getting each other out the out, out the uh, out the dirt. You know, so to speak. So I thought we did that today. There was mistakes early on, some bad mistakes. You know, we made it very easy for Halifax to go two 0 up. Oh, sorry, Halifax made it very easy for uh, for them today. Oh, it brought it to go two 0 up, and that was you know that was something that we're very disappointed with. So it's not brushing it under the carpet by any means. But when that happens. You've got to look for other people. Okay, let, let's. Who's going to who's going to win this game for us? Who's going to grab the game by the scruff of the neck? And I thought there was 11 players that did that, plus the subs. Come the second half, uh, but no, we don't want to be starting by that most weeks. No chance. Manager brought in Mike Jones alongside uh, Tom Naylor. I mean, he seemed to shore up the, the defence in the middle. But obviously not after six minutes, though, was it? No, no. I think. Uh, listen, I think uh, at the end of the day, you, you're looking at individual performance after and it's very easy easier for me or anyone to analyze once you've won uh, so at the minute everyone's a hero and everyone's great i'm saying everyone's brilliant fantastic the more you have a deep breath well actually that could be done a bit better us as coaches and stuff we get caught up with the emotion as well we know we're high fiving in there and if you lose three two you're in the corner you've got to do that better you've got to do that better so even though we're involved in the dugout you still get caught up in the emotion of the result and that's what's debriefs for and, and you know analyzing stuff days later we could actually realize that certain things can be done better uh, but we know after after that amount of time being 2 0 down at home uh, isn't going to be a, a fantastic way to get everyone on side. Uh, I think the second half, which we showed everyone that we weren't going to just throw the towel in and even just accept a 2 1 and just put balls into the box. I think once it equalised, the whole place was behind us. Uh, and obviously at the 3 2, we've sent everyone home happy. Am I right in thinking the manager got booked for arguing for John Askey's case for getting booked? Uh, yeah. for, for kicking the ball, is that right? That is correct. <laughs> That is correct. And just finally, and then a word on the, the support today. I mean, 8,400, you know, Hartlepool bought 1,000, they've made yeah. some noise as well. I mean, this is this is beyond National League, isn't it, really? It is beyond National League, and it's so great because we took so, God knows how many to, to auction them, and, and, and you leave them wanting a bit more. And after 2 0 down today, you can go on, stick with us, come on, stick with us. And at 2 1, you're playing in a 2 all and a 3 2, you're so pleased from at the end and they can all buy a and enjoy their night because none of us enjoyed our weekend our auction none of us did uh, and it's a shame your results didn't go away it'd be great if we were going home tonight top of the league but it, you know, it's the old saying it'll bounce back uh, and I think we did that today after a poor start we ticked a lot of boxes but there was a lot of boxes obviously unticked in that first part of the game